worldwide megastar and former child actor reveals Hollywood's true dark secret U.S. Herald. With bombshell revelations coming almost hourly as the world of Hollywood producer and star maker Harvey Weinstein crumbles beneath his feet, it may be that the whole illusion of glamour and glitz of the movie business is being exposed for the corrupt cesspool that is in fact. For a hundred years, since movies and movie stars first captured the imaginations and hearts of Americans, the celluloid world was painted as we wanted to see it, wanted to believe it truly was rather than as the dream factory industry it really was. Producers, powerful men with money, preyed on young women, as well as men in some cases, with hopes of fame and fortune, promising stardom in exchange for sexual favors. It was true in the early days with men like Joseph P. Kennedy, who dabbled in Hollywood and had affairs with women like Gloria Swanson, and with men like Leo G. Meyer who destroyed young Judy Garland's physical and emotional health while making millions off her talent. But it may be that those days are coming to an end, as the curtain is pulled back on the despicable reality of Hollywood. At this point, Revelations about Harvey Weinstein's sexual abuse of young women trying for a shot at stardom are just the tip of the iceberg, but questions are now being raised about other victims who have received scant notice in the past. Corey Feldman, the child star of Gremlins, The Goonies, Stand By Me, and The Lost Boys, has gone on the record stating that he was molested as adult males in the movie industry would pass young stars back and forth to each other. Feldman went so far as to reveal that his co-star and close friend, Corey Heim, was raped when he was just 11 years old, which contributed to his early death. There's one person to blame in the death of Corey Heim, and that person happens to be a Hollywood mogul, Feldman said at the time of Heim's death, although he declined to call the person by name. Actor Elijah Wood echoed Feldman's claim calling Hollywood, a den of vipers agreeing that child actors were preyed upon by the powerful. One thing is certain, the scandal that has just broken beneath the iconic Hollywood sign over movie town isn't going away anytime soon, and with any luck and the help of good prosecutors, the sick world that condoned child abuse there will finally come to an end. Do you believe that the Harvey Weinstein scandal is just the tip of the iceberg with sexual abuse in Hollywood? In Hollywood?